Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to Butera's Bar. Uh, the decorations you saw in the beginning, of course, are, are my place. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy Christmas. Uh, some interesting stories about the neighborhood I live in. I live in Chelsea in New York City, which is uh, famous because the land was from Clement Clark Moore, whom you all know probably because of Twas the Night Before Christmas. He was big in opening the Theological Seminary for the Church of England, which became the American Episcopal Church in New York. And uh, his story is our image of Santa Claus is from that story. He also named all the reindeer, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Victon, Vixen, that was all Clement Clark Moore. So I thought I'd do a couple of holiday cocktails. One of the most famous, I'm sure everyone knows, is eggnog, which has become actually, believe it or not, quintessentially American. Uh, it originated during the Middle Ages, most likely England. They're not sure of the exact origins, but during the Middle Ages, they would often uh, combine eggs and dairy, and usually it was hot. By the 13th century, the monks were doing this, and it was either called a posset or a flip. They would do egg sugar, figs, and then along the way, they would add liquor. So it was usually eggs, milk, and sherry. Now, this combination, it was only for very wealthy people that could afford these things. So the drink itself became uh, an idea of, of, of welcoming prosperity into your life. So that's oftentimes why it was used. Now what happened during the 1700s, the 18th century, uh, English people came over to the United States and there was a plethora of farms. So dairy and eggs were things that were easy to get. So though it was still usually used for around the holidays or special occasions, it was much easier to use. However, sherry was expensive. There was one liquor that was not as expensive and that was rum. So the original liquor in a uh, eggnog is rum. They're not sure where the name eggnog came from. Some think it was from noggin or a nogger, which was a wooden uh, vessel where you would serve the drink, which makes sense when we talk about someone's noggin, hard head, head of wood. Uh, so that's where it goes. Now, so firstly, the stuff you get in the supermarkets, please don't drink that. Oh God, no. And once you try a real eggnog, and I'm gonna do individual ones in a shaker. If you want to do more, double, triple, quadruple the recipe, you'll probably use less rum in, in a big vat of eggnog, uh, but put it together. Now, we are gonna use a raw egg like we did in our original recipe when you saw the first episode, we did a silver fizz. If you have health issues, you can buy eggs that are pasteurized. So go ahead and do that. This is not a pasteurized egg. It is free range, it is organic, so we are gonna use it. Now, always when you use eggs, if you remember, we're gonna do a dry shake. So in here, I have a simple syrup, which is just sugar and water, okay? Now I'm gonna throw in the egg first, and I like a little bit of vanilla. So we're gonna use just a tiny bit. I'm gonna use a capful in each drink. So a capful of vanilla, Good vanilla, like, like Martha Stewart says. This is Madagascar vanilla, ooh. All right, and we're gonna do a dry shake first. That is just to get the egg going, okay? So it's almost like, think about when you're making a meringue, that kind of thing, that's what you want. You wanna really get that mixed up really well, okay? That's pretty good. Now we're gonna add our liquor. And I am using an Añejo. You can use whatever rum you like. You, of course, can use bourbon. You can, of course, use whiskey. So I'm gonna do at least one whole jigger, maybe one and a half, okay? I like to taste my rum, all right? Now, we're gonna add some ice. Quite a bit of ice. You want it kind of cold, okay? And then we are going to add heavy cream. You can also use half and half. You can also use milk. It's the holidays, I'm using heavy cream. At least two of those. Now all we're gonna do is shake the Dickens out of it. <laughs> it's a Christmas reference, Charles Dickens. Anyway, I'll be here all night, folks. So you really want this frothy, okay? And very cold. That's, that's pretty nice. It's lovely. And I'm putting it in a coupe. Yes, you could serve it on the rocks. Yes, you could serve it in punch glasses. I happen to really like coupes. Fresh eggnog, do not buy it already grated. 
grate it yourself. It's not a big deal. I think in large quantities, nutmeg is a, is a hallucinogen, so don't eat it. All right? There we go. That's all you need. You could even throw a cinnamon stick in it if you'd like. You could do a sugar and cinnamon rim. Um, I'm going to try this. Oh, my. Fresh eggnog. There is nothing like it, I tell you. And, um, yes, it's fattening. I know, it's the holidays. Relax. I'll give you one not so fattening. So now, the next drink we are going to do, we are going to do a walnut old-fashioned. Old fashions are, the name comes from people would often say, and this has been around since probably the 1800s. People say, maybe one of those old-fashioned drinks. Basically, it was rye, it was sugar, and some bitters, and a little bit of an orange peel or lemon. That was it. We are doing one that's a little bit different. This is going to be a sort of a holiday old-fashioned. So I am going to take the rim of the glass, and that is maple syrup. This is called a wash. So I'm just running it around the rim. We are actually going to then, in another glass, we're going to put our ice. We are also adding ice to the glass that we are going to put the drink in. But we're going to make this very cold first. We are going to take a walnut liqueur. There's a number of them on the market. So find a good one. They're not hard to find. We're going to do at least a half jigger of that. And then we are going to do two jiggers of bourbon. Usually rye, but it's the holidays. A little sweeter. We're using bourbon. Next ingredient, two of orange bitters. One, two. And then at least one of Angostura bitters. We're going to stir that up until it is quite cold. 15 to 20 stirs should be good. Depends on how, how wet your ice is. Now we're going to strain that into our cocktail glass. Just like this. It does not fill all the way up. Remember, this is more of a, a straight liquor kind of a drink. Now we're going to take a lovely thick piece of orange, express it over the top, turn it around the rim. You can get a little stir in the glass. And there you have a walnut old-fashioned. They're amazing. Wow. That is Christmas in a glass. If you've never made one, do. Do make one. They're delicious. Thank you all for watching. Um, happy holidays. Happy Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Stay safe. Wear your mask. I hope to see you very soon again in the new year. Follow me. Add me on Instagram. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. Merry Christmas.